All right. Shalom, shalom. I want to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak I want to say double honors to the apostles and the bishop elders, a great millstone for teaching us his word and truth and sincerity and for ruling well. And a salutation to my fellow Akim across the four corners of the globe, preaching and prophesying in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And my brother Gabar Yahweh from GMS Hawaii, coming to you with another quick lesson. And this lesson is on this idol that you see right here in front of you. And not only this idol, several idols that I found through the spirit of one of the brothers had posted it up on a WhatsApp, this particular idol right here, a large go, uh, Gorari or Gori, okay? And, um, you know, you see this pose a lot with the women of our nation. You know, they, they get into these, these the, what you would call, you think it's a sexy pose. This is really called a birthing pose, okay? Because in the ancient world, you would give, the woman would sit on a birthing stool Namely, our women would sit on a birthing stool and he would give birth to the baby via sitting down or in a, in a simple pose like this, not laying down, okay? <clears throat> but this is also something that these other nations, they worship. They worship fertility. They worship idols. They worship um, anything that, that's not the most high, right? Because they weren't given the most high. Real quick, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4. <clears throat> Bear with me, brothers. Yeah, Deuteronomy, chapter 4, verse um, 10. Yep, yeah, I'll start at 10, all right? This is Deuteronomy 4 and 10. It says, especially the day that thou stoodest. Yep. Yeah, Matter of fact, I'll start at uh, 9. Only take heed to thyself and keep thy soul diligently, lest thou forget the things which thine eyes have seen, and lest they depart from th thy heart all the days of thy life. But teach them thy sons and thy sons' sons. And what are we supposed to teach? These laws, statutes, and commandments. One thing is not to do as the heathen do. All right? The heathen worship idols because it's given unto them to worship idols. All right? When the Lord came to us through... Uh, speaking to Moses and presenting himself at Mount Horeb, you know, he didn't come in an image or a likeness or anything because he already knew Jake would have took it and ran with it and then created an idol to worship instead of worshiping the living God. All right. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 1. It says, Hear ye this word, which, hear ye the word which Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them, right? And this, or the, this is the way of the heathen, you know, worshiping fertility, worshiping breasts, worshiping reginas, worshiping phalluses, and all of these things are still worshiped all throughout the world, even in America to this day. But they'll give it to you in a different fashion. Instead of giving you this right here, they give you this, right? And I remember when this album poster came out you know this is a promo for Lil Kim's album you know she had to spread her legs to the world and put a, a and put a ba bathing suit on with her vagina facing the world basically saying it's open for business right and then not only she she did it but then other female rappers came after her and did the same thing this chick uh uh Nicki Minaj and they use this they say sex sells they use it to sell albums all of this, you know, these different poses these women have with their vagina showing or something inanimate going into it, all right? So these, this is nothing more than idol worship, but they give it to you in a different way. Not only this, you had that chick, Foxy Brown. She uh, she had an album called Il Nana, and Il Nana or Ishtar, Inana, Ishtar is an idol, right? Matter of fact, with Foxy Brown. Ill you know, the album cover. She had an album cover, and they were pushing this. They were pushing this this spirit heavy on our people, you know. Ill Nana, which she was a whore. She just came off as a whore throughout the whole album. Again, they claim that sex sells, so they were selling sex and idolatry, and it's the same thing that's happening today, and it all goes back to the stuff that they did in the ancient world. Going back into Deuteronomy, 
chapter 4, verse 9, it says, Only take heed to thyself, and keep thy soul diligently, lest thou forget the things which thine eyes have seen. And lest they depart from thy heart all the days of thy life, but teach them thy sons and thy teach them thy sons and thy sons' sons. Especially the day that thou stoodest before the Lord thy God in Horeb, when the Lord said unto me, Gather me the people together, and the people he said gather together were the Israelites, not all men on the earth, and I will make them hear my words, that they may learn to fear me all the days of all the days that they shall live upon the earth and that they may teach their children right and the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom and when you do what's told of you that's because you fear that person or that power that's telling you to do something okay and ye came near and stood under the mountain and the mountain burnt with fire unto the midst of heaven with dark with darkness clouds and thick darkness and the Lord spake unto you out of the midst of the fire. Ye heard the voice of the words, but saw no similitude, meaning you, you saw no, Im no image, right? Only ye heard a voice, okay? And another reason why the Lord didn't show himself to us physically, because you can't see the most high and live. You can ask in his precepts too. So it says, and he declared unto you his covenant, right? The Lord spoke to us, you know, through, spoke to Moses. He, he, he actually took his finger and he wrote the Ten Commandments down first, right? And he gave them to Moses, all right? And he says, and he, and he declared unto you his covenant, right? And he declared unto us his covenant, which he would keep between us and him, or him and us, which he promised our forefathers, Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, which he commanded you to perform even Ten Commandments. And he wrote them upon two tables of stone. Uh, verse 14, and the Lord commanded me that at that time to teach you statutes and judgments that you might do them in the land whither you go over to possess it. It's again, it says, uh, verse 15, take ye therefore good heed unto yourselves, for ye saw no manner of similitude on the day that the Lord spake unto you in Horeb out of the midst of the fire. Least ye corrupt yourselves and write by our people following after this, we have corrupted ourselves. Okay, we have corrupted ourselves with all manners of idolatry. They even have idolatry used. They have idolatry used, and they try to put the Bible with that idolatry. Some of that idolatry is that image of the so-called white Christ, which goes back to an ancient idol called um, Serapis Christus, all right, which his followers were called Christians, all right, okay? But we were called Christians first at Antioch, because it was a disparaging word because we followed the Messiah, all right, which is Yahweh Shai. Okay? So these these things corrupt men, all right, because this is nothing more than a relief made with hands. The 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 uh the cunning artificer created this image at the seeing a real woman with titties and her vagina in a birthing position. Oh, they, they figure out oh fertility. That's why you have um vagina worship you have phallus worship and that still goes on even today like there, is there phallus worship in america yes there is is there uh phallus worship in america right and it's it's, it's everywhere you know but i have found it uh yeah right here it says phallus phallus Yep, it says phallus, which has got a, a penis with wings on it and a nutsack. It says phallus. Phallus is a penis, especially when erect, an object that resembles a penis or a mimetic image. Mimesis is a term used literally in criticism of philosophy that carries a wide range of meaning, include imitation or imitation. And that's what this and that's what these idols are. They're nothing more than imitation of what really what is real in the world. Okay, but uh, anyway, I had I had looked this up earlier today, and I found something that they had, look. Well, let's keep reading this because this is phallus. It says uh, any object that symb symbolically or more precisely iconically resembles a penis may also be referred to as a phallus. However, the, such objects are more often referred to as being phallic, 
You okay? And it says uh, religion in ancient Egypt, they did it. In classical antiquity in Greece, they worship uh, the phallus. In traditional Greek mythology, Hermes, god of boundaries and exchange of popularity and messengers of God, is considered to be a phallic deity. You see? In the Egyptian, they got the guy, the idol dude with the erect penis. You know, they got the, uh, the polyphallic wind chime from Pompeii. That's why the Lord destroyed that place. That place was steep in that shit. Then you got in ancient India, they worship these people. These are these are these different nations. Iran, ancient Scandinavia, Japan. They got they have all kinds of shit dedicated to penises, man. The Balkans, Switzerland, and then in in America they push they in America they push uh this thing with uh what do they call it? Dildos, women sticking phallus phalluses inanimate objects in their in their vaginas instead of a real penis they they're with uh they, they do it in the, um they do it here so it says saint propius church is in north america a new new religion uh that centers on the worship of phallus founded in 1980 in montreal quebec by df cassidy it has a following mainly among homosexual men in canada and the united states Semen is also treated with reverence, and his consumption is an act of worship. You see this, and they and they push this shit through uh, pornography. They push this shit through music, movies, imagery, music, all 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 forms of stuff. Semen is esteemed as a sacred because of its divine life giving power. You see, and this is what they do. The bare arms of protein, of protein, Switzerland carrying a law often interpreted as a phallus in accordance with the long held tradition. You see, and they got another, a phallic head plate, a head made of penises, man. And this is what, this is what goes on in this world, man. It's nothing but idolatry. This is why the Lord said this in Psalms chapter 96, verse five, for all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens, right? All the gods of the nations are are nothing more than idols. Vanity. Psalms 95 and 3. For the Lord, Yahweh, Bashan Yahshah, is a great power, a great God, and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the deep places of the earth. The strength of his hills, of the hills, is his also. The sea is his. He made it. In his hands form dry land. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before Yahweh Bashan Yahweh our maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, right? Because you got to understand some of these different nations, they got their gods, their idols, which we're going to get that in Deuteronomy, right? We're going to get that, but you can see some of it. Some of it goes back to ancient, all of it goes back to the ancient world, actually, not some of it, you know, even all the way up until what they do today, right? But they made nothing. These idols made nothing. These phallic uh, erect penises that they created out of stone and wood and carved it these vaginas you know you got uh yanni worshiping um all right yeah yanni worshiping viva uh so <laughs> Vajiva, vagina, right? Vagina worshiping, you know they had pushy worship. How to celebrate your lover's sacred? Uh, the ancient practice. You see this? The ancient practice of pushy worship enjoys a long history in cultures around the world, and can be a healing ritual for both givers and receivers. You see this wickedness, man? And that's why you might see a flower like this idol right here. What's her name? Um, Lodge Gori is a is a uh uh what is the uh, uh idol with the head made of a flower all right it says it says lajagari is a lotus headed hindu goddess so these people were <laughs> worship flowers things that the most high created and vaginas and women and titties this is what the lord created for its purpose and its purpose wasn't for this it says lajagari is a lotus-headed Hindu goddess associated with abundance, fertility, sexuality. Sometimes euphemistically described as Laja modesty, she is sometimes shown in a birthing posture, but without outward signs of pregnancy. 
just like this. They put these these rapping female rappers in a birthing posture, but they're not pregnant, right? They're pushing out pussy worship. They're pushing out idolatry. And they'll tell you, oh, it's just a pose. Oh, it's just something we do. But she ain't the only one. You got uh these female rappers. They put their tongue out. Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, you name them. They all do this shit. But this shit goes back to Kali. You know, this goes back to idolatry. All right? Some so-called Hindu idol, because it's not a god. Some Hindu idol who kill, who's angry and kills men and has multiple arms and then keeps her tongue out. And then you see that going on out here. It says, yet, it says the goddess with the tongue out or tongue sticking out. Yet the association of Kali with an extended tongue has early roots. A precursor of Kali is the goddess long, is the, is the ogress long tongue who licks up oblations in an ancient Sanskrit text known as the Brahmas. The Devi Mahatma tells of Kali springing from an anger of, of the goddess Durga to slay the demon rock, whoever, blood seed, right? And even Cardi B, she dressed it up. She dressed up as this Indian idol. You see? Netsians lose calm as Cardi B poses as goddess. And these heathens, they get angry when you pose as their god. But our people, you don't get angry when Esau poses as the son of the living power. You don't get, and y'all accept that shit. And then she she goes and says she's sorry. You know, but this is, she didn't come up with this idea to do this. This is not, this didn't come out of her head. But she had to apologize for it because she agreed to do the shit. But she probably didn't even know they was going to put this shit up there like that. She's over here promoting a sneaker, but in reality, she's promoting idolatry. The sneaker is the last thing being promoted in it. Whoredom, idolatry, mo most, most, Effectively, idolatry, whoredom, all right, wickedness is being promoted right here because this is America, spiritually Sodom and Egypt. All the idols of the nations are being pushed in this modern time that we're living in, from phallic worship to vagina worship, all right, to fertility worship. All of this shit is going on right now. And it's wicked. Going back into Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 16, lest you corrupt yourselves. And again, that corrupts our people. Because you think you're doing it on one level, but in reality, Esau has deceived you to join in on his idolatry. That's what you get. Um, Planned Parenthood, which goes back to Molech. That's what you get. Uh, uh, this prostitution, these, uh, which goes back to these idols in Greece and Rome. You see? The uh, when I say prostitution, I'm talking about to to uh, these women becoming whores, just put on this whore spirit, because that's what it is. It's nothing but a spirit. It's Deuteronomy four and sixteen. Lest ye corrupt yourselves and make you a graven image, the similitude of any figure, the likeness of male or female, which we just saw, the likeness of any beast. Yeah, you go to you go to uh. You go to you go to these uh, the elephant god in India, right? They got that shit. Yeah, this shit right here, Ganesh, right? This 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 is what the heathen do, you know? Of any beast, this what and this is what the Lord Yahweh uh warned us about doing, you know? Because this is what the heathen do. Let's go back to Deuteronomy. It says the likeness of any beast. The light that is on the earth is are not elephants on the earth. Yes, they are. The likeness of any winged fowl that flieth in the air. All right, verse eighteen. The likeness of anything that creepeth on the ground. The like of but be beetles were were um, I forget what they call them in their language, but I know beetles were worshipped over there. They worship alligators. They worship cats. These people are crazy, man. The likeness of, they worship themselves. The likeness of anything that creepeth on the ground, the likeness of any fish that is in the waters beneath the earth. And least thou lift up thine eyes unto heaven. And when thou seest the sun and the moon and the moon and the stars, even all the hosts of heaven shouldest be driven to worship them and serve them 
which the Lord thy power hath divided unto all nations under the whole heavens. But the Lord hath taken you and brought you forth out of the iron furnace, even out of Egypt, to be unto him a people of inheritance as ye are this day. You see? So the Lord didn't set us down here to, to do this, to mimic these heathens and their idolatry. And just because you think you don't know you're doing it, you practice it anyway, you're going to be found guilty just for doing it. You see? You see? All of this goes back to the vagina worship. You know? Shit is wicked. Shit is hella wicked. And it destroys people. All right? And it's, it's, it's all vain. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse 8. But that which is made with hands is cursed as well as it as he that made it. That's right. So all these idols, these are things that are cursed, man. And, and the, the creators of these, they're cursed too. Right? It says, uh, but that which is made with hands is cursed as well as he that made it. He because he made it and it because and it because being corruptible, it was called a God. Yeah, because these things can break. They don't do shit. They're made out of stone. They're made out of wood. Things that the Most High created through His Son. With just His Word, He created these. These idols, they create nothing. For the ungodly and His, un and his ungodliness are both, like, are both alike hateful unto the Most High. So these nations are hateful to the, uh, to the Most High. And not only these nations, but their works. The things they do. All right. That's why the Lord separated us from these nations and didn't want us to commiserate with these nations because even when we were taking them over and the, the Jebusites, the Gergesites, all of them, the Lord told us to wipe them out and their idols and don't take nothing. He told us to do that to the Canaanites and Jake didn't do to finish the move. They ain't finished the job. You know, they took things and hid it. And then they worshiped it like these idols. And even our kings did it. It says, for that which is made shall be punished together with him that made it. And that's why there's going to be a visitation on these idols, all right? Right? This is a uh, um, wisdom. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm in the same chapter, so let me keep on reading. Wisdom of Solomon 14, it's the next verse. For that which is made shall be punished together with him that made it. That's right. And, and it says, therefore, even upon the idols of the Gentiles shall there be a, vi a visitation. And when the Lord visit these nations, he's going to use us to do it. He's going to destroy it. He's going to destroy all of them idols, man. When Yahweh Shai come back, it's a wrap. We get them new bodies and we come out of them chariots. We, we Not only are we enslaving the heathen, and destroying the rebels of our people. But we're going to be destroying all them damn idols that's all over the damn place, man. And they got huge idols. They got small to large to huge idols. You got that, uh, the, well, it's going to be destroyed with the nuclear fire, the, the, the Washington Monument, which is nothing more than an obelisk, which is an obelisk is nothing more than a phallus symbol. Therefore, even upon the idols of the Gentiles shall there be a visitation, because in the creature of the Most High, right, and the, the Israelites, they are become an abomination. And a stumbling block because our people will worship these idols and it will stop them from worshiping the Most High. And it will become stumbling blocks in the way of righteousness, man. To the way of righteousness. To the souls of men and the snare to the feet of the unwise. And it's not talking about the heathen. It's talking about our people, man. You see? This shit is crazy, man. This shit is crazy. And when the brothers had posted this, I was like, wow, this is... It's crazy, man. A lot of things that you we we partake in this world, it all stem back to idolatry, man. All right, and I'll end it off with this. Um, Ecclesiastes chapter ten, right? It says, uh, um, Ecclesiastes ten and um, in twelve. It says, for the, be the beginning of pride is when one departed from the Most High. And that's what happened with us. And you know what happens. When pride coming in, you're going to fall. And it's going to be a hard one. And his heart is turned away from his maker. 
right, our hearts will turn away from our true maker, the Haobashim Yahushai, unto these worthless idols. And that's exactly what they are. They're worthy to be destroyed. They're worthy to be disrespected. You know, they're worthy to be, uh, uh, to be um, not recognized because they do nothing but become a snare in the sight of the Israelites. And they, they was doing this shit all over the world. See, they don't teach you jakes this in your school. Look at this shit. And they got this shit going on right now. Watercolor, Elijah Gory painting, art, and collectibles. You see? You see what the heathen do? You see what they do? You know how they do. So I just want to bring this out and just show it, give a comparison of what they do, what they did in the ancient world and what they continue to do even to this day. You know? The larger gory pose. I'll go back to the original picture that I saw. Yeah, this one right here. You see? And that's not, that's all this shit is. But to the unwise, you know, you think that this is sexy. These hoes are married, got husbands and children, and they pushing this spirit of whoredom out onto our people. And they got these look, looking like a whole fucking demon. Looking like a whole fucking demon. And they got our people even today. Because these women, they had to start from somewhere. And, and, and these bitches are getting rewarded for idolatry. Okay, the scripture says there should not be a, a whore among the daughters of Israel, neither any sodomites amongst the sons of Israel, the sons of Israel. But that's all you see amongst our people. All right, it's a thousand shalom on to the next.